Hi guys, it's Nicole and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be taking you guys throughout a whole day as a senior in high school. I've been trying to wake up earlier every single day, so I went to bed by 9.30 last night. It's currently 5.30 and I don't start school until 8.30. So now I just have the whole morning to take my time and make sure I get a good start to my day. Tips for getting up in the morning. First of all, getting eight hours of sleep. Second, right when my alarm goes off, I don't snooze and I turn on that light. And then third, just get straight out of bed. Like literally don't even think about going back to sleep. You just gotta get up. Okay, with that being said, let's get out of bed and get this day started. five minute journal every single day it just gives me like a positive outlook there's also like daily quotes so today's is a grateful heart is a beginning of greatness and then my daily affirmation i wrote is i am so full of love and life this little workout fit got my mat the water and my ipad and i've been obsessed with doing pilates just in my pool room in my house i just go on youtube search up a workout video and do it in the comfort of my home i think i might do a combination of pilates and yoga or maybe like two different videos doing like pilates core and then a yoga stretch but movement in the morning is chef's kiss it just wakes me up even more and i always feel so good and refreshed after all right we're gonna do this 30 minute full body workout <music> I just finished the video. Oh, I literally love those so much. They're so challenging, but so good. I love doing them when I'm not going to the gym to do my legs or upper body day when I do like weightlifting, especially those full body ones because it works like every muscle group and I can totally see the difference in my core when I'm doing these Pilates videos. Oh, and also I just uploaded my workout routine. That was my last video. So if you guys haven't watched that yet, I'll link it down below. Anyways, don't mind. I'm a little bit of a sweaty mess right now, but it's really nice because the sun is fully up now. I had to open the window because I was getting a little warm in here but the good thing about daylight savings is that yes it gets dark like really quick at like 4 p.m but in the mornings it gets lighter earlier so it's currently 6 45 and i feel like it just helps me wake up even more since it's so bright out okay i'm gonna clean up my mat and everything and then we're gonna go ahead and eat breakfast <laughs> I went grocery shopping the other day and I picked up these Fairlife Core Power Protein Shakes. They're so good. Oh my gosh. I tried the chocolate one too. That one literally tastes like chocolate milk. This one tastes like a vanilla milkshake and it has 26 grams of protein. And if you guys watched my last video, you guys know I've been trying to add more protein into my diet. So these have been really nice. Only thing is they're like $4 each bottle. So I don't know if I'm going to have one of these like every single day, but it's so yummy. Mm -mm all right now we're gonna get ready for school now i'm gonna do my makeup and my hair i totally believe in the saying look good feel good so let's make ourselves a little more presentable for the day today is monday november 13th people have been requesting to see my monday schedules because if you're new to my channel here is my current class schedule for my senior year first period ap calc second period gov and econ third period ap lit fourth period asb and then fifth period work experience but my work experience class only meets on monday so this is like my only 
full day every other day except for mondays i get off around one but days like today i stay till like 2 p.m so mondays are my longest days but even then it still doesn't even feel that long because i don't know senior year, honestly my days go by so quick and they're so easy i'm just like so grateful for my schedule i've been saying that since the beginning of this year but i'm gonna keep saying it i'm gonna try to film in my classes as much as possible we'll see though because we're always busy like learning <laughs> obviously that's why i usually just pull out my camera during asv because we have more like downtime but with my other classes we're obviously going through instruction so we'll see what i film but guys let's do a little mental health check-in not gonna lie the beginning of my senior year was a little rough there are some things going on and my mental health was struggling for a little bit but guys i am happy to say i am doing so happy and like so good lately i've been falling in love with waking up early and being up in the mornings there's just something so nice about being up before everyone else like the world is quiet and peaceful and it's honestly just another form of self-care for me because I've been trying to spend a lot more alone time with myself and just get back to not depending on others for happiness and waking up early has kind of become that like taking my time in the morning just by myself and I've just been really enjoying that time last night I took myself out on a little solo date I went out to grab coffee and then I went to the beach to watch sunset and again it's just so nice like trying to become your own best friend because at the end of the day you only have yourself and if you can't fully love yourself then how do you expect to love others so if you're watching this I hope this gives gives you a little motivation to take a day or take a night to just take care of yourself like do things that you enjoy and that will make you happy and I swear it's so much easier to just look at life with love and more gratitude on that note my camera is blinking and I need to go charge it so I'm gonna go ahead and finish my makeup and my hair and then I'll see you guys in a second outfit of the day I just kept my leggings on these are from Lulu and then I put on this long sleeve from White Fox I have all of my jewelry time to pack my bag it's basically already packed like I have all my notebooks and stuff but every morning I just put in my little iPad guys freaking Apple sent this to me like what the freak I'm so thankful thank you Apple but they sent me the newest iPad along with the keyboard as well as the pencil <laughs> I have no words I love it so much so I've actually just been bringing this every day and it's been working really nice now we're gonna go downstairs and pack all of my food Okay guys, just packed my lunch. Look at me all grown up. Usually my mom does my hair, my mom packs my lunch. I've been trying to do it by myself now because I literally turned 18 in less than a month. But I just packed a little salad. Inside is lettuce, cucumbers, tomatoes, carrots, grilled chicken strips, and then I also added some croutons. And then this dressing is Olive Garden Italian dressing. For my snacks of the day, got my water, and I think that's it. Guys, look at Sadie, she is so cute. Hi babes. She recently got a haircut. Huh. Huh. Shoes of the day, AF ones of course. I also threw on this white fox jacket because it's so cold, especially in the mornings, and then it like warms up later in the day, but I do not want to be freezing when I get to school. Here's the final look. Okay, let's go to school. Love you. Time to blast some music to get me even more hype. My current favorite song is 1738 by Coyle Ray and Fetty Wap. It is so good. You guys need to listen. Trust me. We're gonna have an amazing day. Baby, you don't know. Okay, I just finished the school. We're gonna walk inside. Boop. I always have to check if my parking's good because sometimes your girl's parking is so bad. It's currently 7.55 though. Usually, right when I get to school, I go into my friend's car and we like talk and stuff. But I'm actually heading to my math teacher's room right now. 30 minutes before school starts so that I can just get some extra help because, oh, not gonna lie, I didn't do so well on my last math quiz. But it's okay. Live and we learn. My math teacher is so nice though because he offers help. So I've been asking him to come in a little bit early before class begins so that he can just give me some practice problems and I can prepare for the next test. Because we have a test this Wednesday and I need to get a good graded on it so i'm doing everything possible that i can but yeah normal days if i don't do this i'm usually walking into school with my friends but lately it's just been me because i'm trying to get extra help <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, I just finished math. We are currently on the derivative section. We're almost done with it. We just learned related rates and linearization. I can't even say it. Linearization. Linearization. Whatever. But yeah, test on Wednesday. Wish me luck. I feel pretty good actually. So hopefully I do good. But anyways, I'm walking to my second class right now. I'm having a great day so far. I don't know. I'm just so happy and so blessed. Next up is Govan Econ. When we all vote. Tuesday. I just walk over here and said, like, life is so good. I'm like, yeah, I agree. But yeah, this is where we go for snack. We have this little bench, and we've been going here since last year. Yeah. We've been going to this little bench. Yes, since, since last year. year. <laughs> um, Yo, guys, guess what? <laughs> She's a little. Just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> That's a lie. Time. We're doing canned food drive at the moment. We help six local food banks ask everyone to donate cans, but it just gets a little chaotic because we're in charge of counting and sorting. Um, and this is what the ASV room currently looks like. Is that frosty? <laughs> There's Roosh. <laughs> Jaden, say hi. Hi. <laughs> and Wait, yeah. Class of, class of 2026 yeah, our class isn't doing too hot, but. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we're in yeah, last don't, don't place. We're usually losing. I don't know what happens to our usually, class. Usually the seniors win everything, but this year we're the change. Yeah, we're kind of slacking, but it's fine. It's just crazy. And then the other room next door, that's where we sort them. I'll go in there in a second and show you that room too. Can I give you a number? Are you laughing? that we counted in there to the other room to sort. <laughs> that room is so much more fun. I know, right? The trick is to play music, but it's more fun. It's lunchtime and we're lunch rushing. Thank you. Yeah. Orange chicken. I finished my salad during second, no, third period. So this is my second lunch. And okay, guys. Oh, my camera's dying. Whatever. Usually we would eat lunch in K2, which is the ASB room, but now we're, we're in K3. The vibe in here is better. Yeah. yeah. What's the senioritis level? Oh, very high. <laughs> Mine's like not as high. Honestly, yeah. Mine is at zero right now because Mine's I'm like high, high on life. life. I would say like a solid, like on a solid scale of ten. Six. Yeah. So I'm like, a solid six. I'm not like two. seven. I'm at like a five. Cause I haven't stopped like not caring about my schoolwork, but like other things I'm like, it doesn't matter because I'm going to college. So you know what my mindset is, is when I was like inputting my grades, I was like, wow, like I did not try hard enough. So my senioritis is at like a zero because I like want to end with like a 4.0 like senior year. I literally was like to my parents like, guys, do you really care if I get like multiple A's? <laughs> like cry in high school and you will feel much better when you're inputting your grades on applications. So on. It's true. So, but I think the senioritis is going to hit even more when like college apps are actually done. 100%. We're gonna feel like there's no When the acceptances ready. roll in. Yeah, I don't like literally don't wanna come to school. Or rejections. But more acceptances. Y'all just wait for those more emotions to come out. So yeah, to any seniors out there, good luck. All right, you guys, I'm done with school. It's currently 1.20. I ended up leaving right after lunch. Okay, this is kind of awkward. I literally filmed because today's a Monday and I wanted to show you guys my full schedule, but my teacher is in here that does my fifth period, so we just didn't have it today, so sorry about that. But basically my work experience class, it's really cool because it's for students that have jobs, so that's why you only meet once a week is that other days you can get to your job faster. You have to work a certain amount of hours every single week in order to be enrolled in that class and then when you do meet on Mondays you learn about like career paths, work environments, professionalism that comes with jobs. It's honestly pretty neat and I love my teacher that does it. She's also the student activities director who leads fourth period which is ASB but I talked to her last year if I could enroll in work experience as social media as my job and she let me so I'm so grateful that's the whole reason I get off this early and I was excited to show you guys like what we usually do in that class but yeah sorry I didn't actually go 
upload at the class today. I'll try to film it during Vlogmas. There you go. Oh my gosh. Speaking of, Vlogmas is coming up so soon, you guys, and I'm so excited. A little scared, not gonna lie, because if you're new to my channel, I do Vlogmas, which is filming, editing, and posting every single day of December until Christmas. So it's definitely a lot, and I usually don't get a lot of sleep. But this year, I'm determined to have a really good schedule, like a healthy morning and night routine where I'm getting a lot of sleep while still getting all my videos up. So stay tuned for Vlogmas. It's coming up in a few weeks. I'm already like planning videos and merch is coming. Ah! I'll talk more about that very soon. Don't worry. Okay, but I'm driving home right now. Upcoming this week, I have a math test on Wednesday, a gov test Thursday and Friday, and then also class comp is Friday, and that'll be a different vlog, so stay tuned for that. But for the rest of the night, today, I'm just gonna do homework. I only have a little bit, and then just edit, because I already got my workout done this morning. I had a really good day at school. Everyone else in, like, really good spirits, and, like, you never know with Mondays, because obviously it's the start of a new week. Sometimes people don't wake up in the best moods. I don't know. Today was just, like, really good vibes, and very happy about it. But yeah, heading home, and then we're just gonna get some work done for the rest of the day. Hi! <laughs> Look at her face. Cuddle time! I changed into some PJ shorts just to be more comfy, but it's just me and Sadie in the house right now. My parents are running errands and then Christian's at Sky's house, so it's so quiet. It's just us two. Mm -mm -mm. So before I start getting. <laughs> so before I start working, I'm just gonna lay here and chill with this cuddle monster. She's so cute, you're so cute. Probably just like scroll on my phone for a little bit and then we'll get to work. How's Sadie? <laughs> okay, I just woke up from like a 30 minute nap. If I do take a nap, I don't want it to be like too long because I want to go to bed by 9 p.m. tonight so I can wake up early tomorrow again. So just got like a small little power nap. But look who's home! My parents! Hello. With some sushi douchey. They brought home sushi! <laughs> oh, bless. Oh <laughs> Use ham. <laughs> I'm about to eat this up. Oh my god, it was literally crazy. I was craving sushi at school and then my mom texts me, I have sushi for you. I'm like, yeah. So excited. Question of the day, comment down below your favorite food. Sushi's one of mine. I always tend to get the ones with salmon. It's my favorite. It was so cute. Sadie was just like cuddling me. Mm, upstairs? Yeah. Mm. Laying on my tummy and stuff. It's good. Yeah, she was really so sweet. Homework time. Thankfully, I only have one math assignment tonight and I don't think it'll take me that long. It's just like a review sheet for our test on Wednesday. Oh, hold up. Come say hi. Special guest. Christian! Play Perm by Bruno Mars. So yeah, I'm gonna finish this hopefully in like less than 30 minutes. Also, I like bringing my work to the downstairs dining table because if, I don't know, sometimes if I'm in my room, I tend to go in my bed. It's just easier for me to get distracted. So I have my Do Not Disturb turned on on my phone. We're gonna crank out this math assignment. All right, you guys, it is a lot later. It's currently 6.30 p.m. I think the last time I filmed was around like four and I finished my homework like super quick, but I've just been editing this whole time. It's kind of nice though because it's pitch black outside. Because of daylight savings, the sun sets around like 4.50 and then by 5 p.m. it's already pitch black. But honestly, I feel like the night kind of just gives me more motivation to like finish everything I need to because I want to sleep. Since I'm going to bed at nine, that's already in like three and a half hours. Right? No, two and a half. Two and a half hours. <laughs> so I want to finish editing, get my stuff done, so then I can like unwind and get to bed. Hopefully, this is the schedule I'm hoping that I have during Vlogmas. But like right after school, maybe take like a little power nap and then just start working so then I can get a good night's sleep. Anyways, I have like maybe 30 minutes to an hour. Definitely less than an hour of editing left. Mom has also been working the whole time. Dad over there too. <laughs> <laughs> and then Christian left the house again, <laughs> but we're gonna finish all the things that we need to and then I'll see y'all in a bit Okay, everyone. It is time to end my day. It's currently 8 30 finished my homework finished editing this evening was so productive And I got everything done by like 8 p.m. Which usually doesn't happen So I'm so happy because now I can just do my night routine which includes my nighttime journal And reading one or two chapters from this book But I plan on sleeping in 30 minutes and doing this all again tomorrow. I just wanted to say I'm honestly just so grateful 
grateful for this day and just for life. <laughs> I don't know. I've just been really happy lately. I feel like, I don't know if you guys can tell, but the place I'm in right now in my life, it's just really good. And I hope I maintain all these healthy habits that I've been doing and just this healthy mindset because I really am like so happy at the moment. But I hope you guys, whenever you're watching this, um, I hope you're doing well. Remember to take care of yourself because truly when you're taking care of yourself, everything else falls into place. Self-love and self-care has always just been a roller coaster, like an on and off journey. But when you're in a really good place, it just seems that like everything else in life works out. I don't really know. I don't know how to explain it. I don't know if I'm making sense, but self-care on top. You deserve love. Give it to yourself before giving it to anyone else. But with that, I'm going to end today's video here. If you guys stay till the end, comment down below the pink bow. I've been like literally obsessed with that emoji. <laughs> but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like and comment down below. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to the family channel and turn on all of the post notifications. I'll see you guys back with another video. I love you guys so much. Stay positive. Bye. Oh, 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 oh.